Hey, you guys. I, I'm a person who loves my Apple products a lot. Mm, you know, I'm, I'm a very avid Apple fan. Um, I've been noticing more and more lately on the Craigslist and these, you know, sell my shit, Kijiji in Canada, Craigslist in America. I've been seeing more and more of this problem. Let me just show you guys something here. This is an iBook, or an ice book, depending on who you talk to, what kind of nerd. I've been seeing a lot of these on Craigslist lately. I've had this thing for 14 years now. 14 years. Let's, let's take a grasp of this. This is a Mac I've had for 14 years. This thing came out in 1999. They're selling these and they're scamming people on Craigslist and Kijiji and all over the world. They're scamming people selling these things for $300 just because of the Apple logo. These aren't good. These are garbage. Lion is the closest thing to an operating system you can load on these. And on top of all that, you can update. They're running 512 RAM. There's there's less than 60 gigs to the whole computer. And, and people are buying these things for like $300. This is blowing my mind. I mean, if you're going to waste your good hard-earned money, you could at least buy something like an Apple TV. Maybe buy yourself a nice new iPhone. Don't don't waste your money on Craigslist. People on Craigslist are selling crap, stuff they don't want, nobody wants, but you get there, you get excited, I want a laptop. Oh, hey, look, an Apple laptop for 200 bucks. It's a scam, man. It's a scam. The chargers, clearly from eBay, they're third-party chargers. I mean, look how thick this thing is. I, you, you're talking, look, let me put my iPhone next to it. And I'm, I'm currently recording. All of this is being recorded on my iPad. You're talking, this is like six iPads stacked together to make this thickness. This is crazy. So, I just want to put this out. And if you notice, these are two different whites because it's a Frankenstein computer. They're so easy to rebuild. People buy these things for $5, rebuild them with some crap on eBay, and sell it to you for 200 I just want to put the word out there. Good, hardworking, honest people of the world. If you want your Apple products and you want good quality, part with your money. You're going to have to spend some money, but buy a nice new product. Don't worry about it. It's going to come with Apple Care. It's going to be replaced if anything happens. You're not going to have to worry about brick in a box where you get something that you think is going to be awesome and it's garbage. This thing worked for... Maybe two years. I tried to put in Duke Nukem 3D from fucking the 90s, and it fried the processor. This thing doesn't work anymore. It's garbage. So, this is my little PSA. Please, people. I understand you, want, you don't want to spend your hard money, but it takes money to buy quality. And if you, you get what you pay for. If you think that you, bought, you just bought a laptop for 200 bucks... You just probably bought a piece of crap. <laughs> so, you know, it's the dude here with a warning to you guys. If you love your Apple products like I do, and you don't want to go through headaches and hassles, don't try to find cheap avenues to go. Don't try to save your money. Just spend the money. It seems like a lot with the first investment, but it's it's so much better. I... I've had Apple replace four of my iPhones, two iPod Touches. You're not going to get that service if you don't buy this stuff new. I mean, they're very, very helpful. So, again, this is just, uh, yeah, this is my little video telling you guys to watch it. Save your money. It's, it's always better to plan, prepare, and save and buy something you want than to try to go an avenue that leads you to a fake MacBook, a fake iPad, a worst case, a whole brick in a box. There are people that went to Walmart, bought an iPad, got home, wrapped it up for Christmas, and on Christmas Day, their loved one unwraps it and finds a book inside of a box for an iPad. It's completely scam. Apple's only charging 370 350 
for the iPad 2 right now. People are out on Craigslist selling them bitches for $370, $380, you know, $400, $500. This is an iPad 2. You can go buy that shit from Apple. $350 comes with an Apple protection plan. So much better, so much safer. You don't have to meet in a public place, shady, steamy alley, some stupid shit. So, all right. We're going on to five minutes, 520 now, so I'm just going to cut it, cut it up here. And please, you guys, if you want quality, you're not going to get it off of Craigslist or eBay or anything like that. People in there are just out to make a buck. You're better off saving your money, spending it. It might hurt your wallet a little bit, but in the long run, you're going to feel a lot happier about it. So, that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, I'm the dude, and uh, have a good day. We'll get back with you guys in a little bit. I got some new tweaks coming up, some new stuff I found in uh, Cydia. Um, we're going to take a flashback at the iPhone 3GS that is set to be prepared for the new software, iOS 6. Blows my mind, old iPhone, new software. Eventually, they're going to cut it off. And people that are using 3GSs are going to get, you know, their disappointment day where Apple no longer supports their device and they have to go buy a new one. But next video, we're going to do a review of the iPhone 3GS uh, as of, you know, let's see, Friday, August 17th, August 17th, 2012. So we're going to review a phone that came out quite a few years ago and see how it's running on the newest software even jailbroken. So until next time, you guys have a good day and uh, yeah, I'll get back with you later.